What's going on, everybody? My name is C4, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're for episode 17 of our Madden 24 Arizona Cardinals franchise mode. We are we're playing well, I, I think, all things considered. We're playing like a top 10 offense. We have the number two passing offense. We have the number one rushing defense. Teams can't run the ball on us. I will say maybe our rushing numbers aren't, you know, they're the weak link, if you will, of our offense. But that is to be expected when we're going through a running back strike. There is a running back strike affecting various franchises around the NFL right now. Not just us. It's also not every franchise. Some running backs are handsomely paid. And they've kind of kept shut on the matter. So when you're in a situation like us, where you have James Conner and Corey Command both looking for contract extensions, both with a lot of pull in the locker room. And I think the longer that this might drag out, the more of a role that it could start affecting other players as well uh, has me definitely concerned. But... We were able to win. We were able to stay on top of the division by having converted wide receiver Calvin Austin and Rondell Moore handle the running back duties. And that is my plan here today. I guess, I don't know, I'm almost hoping and, and not hoping, I'm almost waiting for like a costly fumble or something like that to justify me having to pay either one of these running backs. Because obviously there is gigantic gaps in terms of carrying. And, and, and like the base running back stills the security that we get from a James Conner or Corey Clement toting the rock. But we got uh, we got all Rondell Moore here. And we're actually going to try to screw him over a little bit. This uh, probably is not going to help us do too much. But we're going to re-sign him as a, wide, as a running back with the intention of eventually moving him back to wide. That might have been cheaper. We might have just saved a little bit of money. Uh, we also have Ty Nixon, our star dev corner that we found as a UDFA. I think it'd be cool to continue his development. We'll throw him a little bit more money. We'll wait and see with Boogie Basham. We got off to a pretty good start uh, on the sacks front. Everyone else can kind of wait right now until we make the decision on the running backs. Both corners. They don't even. It's not even like we gotta pay them. They don't want. They both gave me the number ten million dollars. They both want two year, ten million dollar contracts. $20 million for a 72 and 69 running back who are 29 years old respectively, so only going to regress is a tough price to pay. And until we get back into a corner where that is really our only option, I think we just got to keep keep on keeping on with the offense until it's not working. But it's working right now. And we got a matchup here against the Buffalo Bills. This is, this is going to be a tough one, man. They're the number three offense in the NFL, number two defense in the NFL, and with the running back strike drama all over the locker room right now for the Arizona Cardinals, even though we got to win week five, I don't think it'd be fair to say we have any momentum right now going into this matchup, but we're going to try our best to take down the undefeated 5-0, Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen-led Buffalo Bills. I think to do so, we got to stop uh, the deep ball here. They throw the deep ball, a 97 pass rating is one of the highest I've ever seen. Makes sense. They have a 97 quarterback with bazooka, so yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna focus on throwing it short. Shadow Trey White just had another IRL season-ending injury, which absolutely sucks. We got we got how we got houses dev trade. We got both the dev trade. No. Our two hidden dev players, Kenny Hodges is star dev. 82 corner out of the draft, star dev. Guy that walks into the league and is instantly one of the third. Well, he's one off, but like one of like the starting top corner in the NFL. If you're top 32 overall, you are high enough rating to be a corner one on every team. Stardev is brutal. Number one overall pick, Stardev, for our franchise. Does that does that make you view him any differently? Does that make me feel like you know, through five games, his one interception, twenty-two tackles, not bad. Hasn't been a liability at all. But you know, thinking you know, this this is that's an interesting debate because 82 overall rookie hidden dev 82 overall with the dev trick 82 overall with a star dev is that a worthwhile first overall pick or is that a bad pick 
in my opinion, I think it trends towards a bad pick. It limits the ceiling a little bit. But, you know, you, you're almost going to let the season play out. Because if he goes on and has defensive rookie of the year, he'll get likely that superstar dev, which would make that a great pick. But luckily, we were aggressive. And we got Marcus House, who was also can't miss. And that one at least rewarded us with a superstar X Factor. And I think, you know... The, it averages out, right? I think like it would average out if we had Marcus House. If we took away his superstar, gave him gave him just a base superstar, not an X factor, and then you got Hodges a superstar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like that would technically kind of break even if needed by be, but because we got the the two ends, the two extremes, we got one star dev, one X factor. You know what would you rather? Would you rather having two superstars straight up, or would you rather one be a star but also get an X factor right at the gate? Um, you know, I know for me, yeah, we got some better abilities here for you. Four hot routes in the slot, short out, tank. Hmm. I, I'm thinking we don't, okay, we'll go reach for it. I'm thinking we don't have the best superstar abilities. I guess we we'll go persistent for the time being. Rack them up. Is racking up the best thing we should go go for? Stiff arm truck. I don't really do that a whole lot. They enter the zone. Guaranteed they break their first. Yak him up is pretty pretty decent, but 20 yard receptions. I mean that's pretty much a lot, but 20 yard receptions are hard for a tight end. It's not like he's a wide, you know, but we utilize it like a wide receiver. Maybe we'll be able to break even a Marcus House X Factor. That is awesome. I'm excited for this one. This It's been a minute since we played Cardinals franchise. On top of that, starting my franchise today, it got patched with the new title update, which supposedly has some gameplay fixes. I don't know. We're I'm sure we'll get angry about it at some point today. Oh, wow. My coverage is... I mean, just... They're going to get his. This is going to be a matchup. If we can find a way to beat the 5-0 Bills... It's not because we found a way to shut down their offense. It's we found a way to match their points. Second and four. Let's get Alex Jones here going on the inside. Animal human hybrid with a TFL. You love to see that, man. It's fluoride. Fluoride powered Alex Jones. Brings up a third and three. Look at a bendo break. Let's try to be Papo here. You know this might be a run. Oh. I don't think we would have. I don't think that botched hit stick it doesn't even matter. I think we would have missed him. First down, Damian Harris. Oh, that's how you know it got serious. Keith Taylor in for a blitz. Holy, did you see that swim move? Look like Ward Sap. That's a good throw. Hell of a throw. Dawson Knox. I mean, they got two really, really nice tight ends between. Dawson Knox and Rachel, I mean, not Rachel Bush, um, Dalton Kincaid there in Buffalo. I mean, just not much. You can do that. That's a perfect fucking throw. Who's going to pay running backs, man, when you get 11 yards of carry with Rondale Moore? Another opportunity, man, we send house straight line. Just try to fit that in there between the pass rusher and the linebacker. That's your X factor right there. And then he just straight up wins the foot race. What a stud, man. X-Factor tight. They have a good tight end there. Throws it to Dawson Knox. We have the best tight end right now. We have, you have the end of an era with Gronk and Kelsey, right? Gronk retired. Kelsey's getting pretty close. Who's going to be that next era of ridiculous, unstoppable juggernaut tight end? We have him here in Arizona. And his name's Marcus House. Come on. There we go. If he's got a run, man, I'm going to make sure he feels it every single play. And I will say, I got I had a little birdie on my ear saying that if we needed another running back, there is a versatile defensive player who just showed us a pass rush move. We said he's willing to, willing to move to running back. So if you guys want to see Keith Taylor at running back during this strike, you let me know in the comments. I'll tell you right now, how the... How are we missing these tackles, dude? That was a tackle with Papo. Just hitting A, trying to be safe, at least get something on him. I guess it's hit, stick, or bust.
All right. Uh, jump ball between Stephon Diggs and Jalen Thompson. Jalen Thompson, much more known for his tackling ability, being the third leading tackler in the NFL last year. Um, I'm not going to lie. As soon as I saw that, I was like, that's a pick. We are going to be able to jump this. And uh, Jalen Thompson has a two-inch vertical. I did not know that. He jumped literally the same way my two-year-old daughter jumps. All right. Get a, again, we were never going to shut down the Bills' offense. This was going to be a game of... That's terrible. This is going to be a game that we got to just... They score points. We got to equalize. And it's not off to a hot start at all. I will be the first to admit, not in a gameplay pocket right now. I'm going to try to get there. and I mean, it was a hellacious first touchdown. But... Gonna take me, give me at least a quarter here to get final rhythm, find what play calling works. Austin in the backfield. You can almost make the argument Calvin Austin was more impressive. It made the mo most of his opportunities and touches out of the backfield than Rondell Moore did last week. So that's something to keep an eye on. Because I think the, the idea is going to be hopefully those running backs come to their senses without me having to pay them $10 million each and we'll bring them back. And when that happens, Rondell Moore is very clearly. Best utilized on this squad as, yeah, maybe a gadget player, but he's he's a wide receiver. Big time wide receiver for us, one over 1,000 yards. But Calvin Austin, on the other hand, I look at a healthy backfield for us. Clearly, Roosevelt Bonds, our rookies, are our bell cow type guy, but if Calvin Austin's home might be at, at running back. We go Claypool, tough grab there, brings up third and manageable. Got it. Also, shout out Michael Wilson, man. IRL. Week four for the car. He had like two tutties. That's a... That's a guy, man. I'm glad we... I mean, I, he was he was always good enough that he wasn't like barely making our roster. But we haven't really utilized him a whole lot. But IRL, man, he looks like he's going to be a guy there for the Cardinals. And therefore, I'm glad that we might have a chance to achieve that with, uh, with him here today. We go Claypool. Ooh, another player, man. IRL, a lot of drama around Claypool. A lot of drama, lack of effort, kind of getting clowned on a little bit. Great opportunity here for the Cardinals to change that perception he currently has around the league. <sighs> Way too long, man. Hollywood Brown, I'm getting locked in. He's our, he's the big time wide out right now. Turns to looking at the depth chart that we got to get going. Pretty damn good pass rush here from Buffalo. But if Josh Allen can scramble and extend drives for Buffalo, Kyler Murray can do the exact same damn thing. We had a third and six. Is that a linebacker on? Oh my God, it took too long. Dude. If that, if that was a linebacker on Ronnie Moore, I got to get that out quicker. I got to identify, send him deep. He's going to win because he's viewed as a running back, right? So they're going to match him up with linebackers and safety, single coverage against Rondell freaking Moore. I'm going to take that every day of the week, but not good clock management. But again, I got I to get in the rhythm. I'm the first one to admit, not in a rhythm right now. And that was pretty late to Albert O. Fourth and two. I feel like, again, we, I think, I think we got, it's going to be trading touchdowns until I don't have any, an ounce of faith that we're going to stop them. This needs to be, we get tutties and fourth and two. It's not like it's fourth and five, fourth and six, fourth and two on the 12. Come on, baby. Let's make some money. Let's make some money. Scare money don't make money. Claypool, wide open. Took us a little bit to get, get to the right read there, but we got there. Right, I'm terrified about this one. Running inside. This is where we're definitely 
going to feel the loss of not having a traditional running back. Power run here with Calvin Austin, all 160 pounds of him. That is a TFL in the backfield there. All right, double slants, which honestly, it's if if our first read's not there, try to run it in with Kyler Murray. And it is Claypool, holy shit! We brought him in, trying to save his career. That's, that's a tough catch. I've seen that drop more often than I see that caught. Now, we did just have an injury to Kevin Dotson, one of our best guards. But tied up at 14 on a drive that we had to go for it on fourth down. I'm loving the fact that the moment's not too big right now. Fantasy improved blocking on quarterback runs, faster throwing motions while under pressure. Like, here's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, Hodges, come on! you got to make that pick, Stardev. It does seem like some of the issues I'm having here, immune to defensive pressure, it seems like a lot of the issues I'm having trying to get after Josh Allen line up with what he gets when he has his ability fully going here. Man, that had to be a pick. you got to punish him on a bad throw like that. All right, man, this is like I'm playing Retro Bowl. Just never getting a stop on defense, it feels like. Going to try our best. I think it all starts right now if we... Now, not to get... Not to get uh, moody on the gameplay right here, but uh, why in the fuck did... My, like my safety right there to 20 right marco my corner marco wilson just got like lost in the route you know for damn sure if that was role reversed that bill's corners jumping that for a pick why didn't my guy do that right am i not tripping I clearly understands breaking down the tape here 20 is trying to cover hardy but if this this throw right there if this was the bills on all madden 20 is like ignoring this and he's just gonna like he's just gonna jump and pick that off because that's not a why is it my guy like is that a low awareness rating and maybe not have a linebacker on gabe davis go we gotta score when they score Who needs to pay running back 75 yard rush tutty to the house ron dale moore there's not a catch he's the fastest running back in the nfl right now running back yes take the knee yes it's only a matter of time to that little bit of carson wentz that goes inside josh allen's head acts up that honestly we should have two picks maybe even three in this first half but at least we get one right there that's a terrible throw marco wilson makes up for the getting roasted on game film it's a broken play no you're so fat you're like 97 speed acceleration agility that needs to be like some twitchy fucking bullshit going on you make that grab you can turn around get in Oh man, maybe we saw we just saw maybe a second too late. If we could hit them, hit that in run, mid run while he's running in motion, he might he might not have to stop and pull up there. God damn, it's a missed opportunity, man. Going even if we had more time, that would have been an easy field goal. I think I'm actually gonna go blitz counter. They're bringing it. They're bringing it after us here a little bit. Gone again. Who? Who? Uh oh. Hollywood Brown down. Yeah, there you go. That that can be something. We always say, like, you know, it'd be on the running backs. Like something bad to happen to one of our, you know, the experiment we're currently going on with at running back. But we also could, if the wide receiver depth gets set, we might need Rondell Moore at wide receiver, especially if Hollywood Brown. That's serious. 
We go, we go Michael Wilson. And that guy has a chance to step up. Hopefully that's not... And over that's, you know, he's holding his wrist. So knowing Madden is probably a sprained ankle. But Calvin Austin's done good enough at running back that if we had to, in a pinch, shuffle around that room a little bit, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's a strained bicep. No rush. No rush. First and goal. Who wants it? House. Come on, House. You know you want to come in on a slant. You know we're going to do the damn thing with Kyler, baby. Go ahead, score. Just Can we play a little more defense, man? Can we not have to just get a red zone turnover? Can we stop the midfield? Man, what the hell was that? Defense got a fire out of their ass here, man. We got him at third and 11. We're going to... We'll drop back with Papo here. Why did you get take off? Don't let him get that. Come the fuck off. He fumbled it! And we never, never recover them! Ever! Never recover the fucking fumbles in this game! Why is it so hard? There we go. Ronnie Perkins, Dennis Garrett, straight up backups. Get our first sack of the game. I just still can't believe it, man. Like if someone, if I, someone went in and charted every forced fumble that I've had in Madden 24, I've got. I don't even think I've ever got one. I, I think it wouldn't even be exaggerating saying I'm 0 for 25 in forced fumbles. So frustrating. Third and 11 here again. Last time he just, we covered it well and he scrambled and took off. At least that one there, shut it down. I think they're going to settle for a field goal at this spot of the field, which they do. That's a win for the defense. We got a Rondale Moore play action. We've ran it enough. I think play action is somewhat believable. There we go, Rondale. As much as we've been like hyping up, gassing up how unstoppable is Bill's offense, their defense has not been good at all. We're marching up and down the field like this. Look at this right here. Albert O. Albert O, ladies and gentlemen. Albert O, don't give a shit. I'm not learning how to pronounce that name. Aquio Bungam. Nah, it's Albert O. Come on, Calvin. Short yard special. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. This is all, we just got to stop trying to force this right. It's not going to work. I would C4 special to the left sometimes. C4 special to the left sometimes. Oh! That's what we need. It was there all along. What was I thinking? The C4 special is perfect for our current backfield. Let's go, Kenny! Let's go, Stardev! Should have had two today. I'll take one. Shot play there, and Carson Wentz just throw under throws a duck. Not on the same page as Gabe Davis. Damn, had X. Couldn't get the throw off. Greg Russo with big sack. Defense for Buffalo taking a little bit of a stand here. Trying to bail out their offense, which is two turnovers and as many drives. We'll just do the smart thing. Chew as much clock as we can. Oh, there's no way. I mean, eating the sack, honestly, at that point, not the worst thing. Keeps the clock rolling. No way. He just spins off of the tackle and can't tackle him. 
Okay. Sure. Sure, that happened. Sure, that just... Never change all, Madden. I like, I'll give it up when I can give it up to a great play. That was fucking bullshit. Not one of my guys catches their 86 speed tight end. Like, no way. There's no way that just... What the fuck is that? Just has a deflection that goes opposite direction somehow. Defies the laws of physics. Fucking, if you're going to want Buffalo to win, just give them the fucking win. Oh! Carson Wentz doesn't... No one told Carson Wentz back there we're playing all bad. In? A 15, 20-yard gain there. And then... Oh, Ooh, calm down. Ooh, let's find my zen. Oh, my God. How did, oh. Why am I good enough on Madden that it's so clear and obvious if I was playing on All Pro? Because it'd just be so much better for my mental health to be playing not on All Madden. Third and seven. What better time than now for the pass rush to show up? Yeah. God, almost broke it. Javon Kinlaw. Fourth and 12. We'll go cover three. Keep it in front of us. We've got to use at least finally one of their timeouts. Again, I just want to get pass rush. I think that's our best shot. I don't have enough faith in myself to hang in. That's going to be a legal throw. Turnover. This is the why you play on all Madden. Because when you win, when especially when it feels like you're not supposed to win, it feels way better than winning on all pro. Come on. C4 special, Tuddy, and Garbage time to run the score up. Whatever. 35 30. And honestly, it, it, it didn't feel that. It. It felt that close, but also didn't feel that close. Felt like we were convincingly the better team throughout. Huge dub. Absolutely huge dub for the Arizona Cardinals against undefeated, arguably the best team in the league right now. But three interceptions for Josh Allen, unacceptable. Cannot play like Carson Wentz, which he can. We got a good roll there. 300 yards, two touchdowns, no picks for Kyler Murray. Also had 40 on the ground in a tutty. 33 and a tutty for Austin, 129 and a tutty for Rondon. Well, that's a lot of not running backs having a very good rushing offense. Receiving 43 yards and a tutty for Claypool, 80 and a tutty for the X Factor House, 41 yards receiving Rondell Moore. Albert O was nice. Hollywood Brown had that nice garbage tie, and he came back in the game. So luckily, it's not a severe injury uh, for our wide receiver one. Defensively, Papo and Zayvon Collins tackle machines here today. Also, Garrett Williams with seven. We got a sack from Kinlaw, half sack split by the uh, the backups there, but three picks, one thrown right to Grant Delpit. One, which was kind of easy, but still somewhat challenging in the end zone by Marco Wilson, and a great pick by Kenny Hodges, which he probably should have had two today, which makes up for the fact that we found out he's a freaking star dev as a number one overall pick, which is a little bit of a bummer. Speaking of the devil, get an upgrade point for him right now. Up to an 85 with the boost. Two, oh, nice two acceleration too, making making him that much. You know what, I'll come back and say I said I thought he was maybe a little bit bust. Maybe that's too harsh. We did pick up one injury, which was Dennis Gardeck. Dislocated elbow, he is out for the next four weeks. We have 65 stat points. We're going to continue to work down the old staff mods here on Ben Johnson so that we can get additional training slots. And we just gained one more. That's huge. Let's get another 40 and get all three. We're going to call it on that point there after absolute just upset. We should not have beat the Buffalo Bills. We found a way to beat the Buffalo Bills, and we have a lot of momentum now. Rolling into our Week 7 matchup against the Rams, but I'd love to get your guys' feedback on how we present the Cardinals franchise. We've done mostly two gameplays per episode, which 
which is fine, but with that comes most videos are going to be 45 minutes to an hour long. And I wonder if we just knock it down to one gameplay. Sometimes we'll sprinkle in two, but if the consistent upload is one gameplay, it's going to be a video that's probably between 25 minutes and 30 minutes. Maybe it's a little bit more digestible. We can get more episodes out when we do it. I, I don't know. I really want to see what you guys feel if I, as I try to fine-tune our Madden 24 Cardinals franchise here just a little bit. If you are in favor of a little bit more of a shorter episode with having more individual gameplay, because we, I think we definitely had a lot more clips in this Bills matchup than if we were doing both the Bills and Rams game. Let me know. If you like seeing two gameplays per episode and don't care about the long episodes, let me know. I will take all of the feedback into consideration. But thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. We'll be back tomorrow with an episode of Pink Slips. And then on Saturday... A gigantic 0-7 to seven rings Minnesota Vikings rebuild that you're not going to want to miss. Probably the hardest video I've ever done. Appreciate the Vikings for just being god-awful in the sim. Uh, without it for me today, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, first time stopping by, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, all those things to help the channel out with the YouTube robots. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Love you. Have a good one.